Good morning, everyone. It is great to see you today. We need a story this morning of God's power and how God works. And boy, do we have one for you this morning. We're going to read from my favorite book, the Bible. And before we get started reading, I want us to do our four actions. Will you join me, please? We begin in the name of the Father, in the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, today's story is called The Battle of Jericho. And I'm going to need you to find your little wormy wormy. Um, we've got a couple of pages in this story today. All right, here we go. The Israelites had finally gotten to take the land God promised. They stood outside the tall, tall walls of the city called Jericho. God told Joshua it was time for them to take over the city. So Joshua told the Israelites about God's plan. Here's what we will do, said Joshua. Joshua counted off seven priests from the group. Can you count to seven with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Good job. You will each play a shofar. That's like a, a special, kind of like a trumpet, friends, that's made um, uh, from bone. It's a really cool sounding instrument. I wish I had one to show you what it sounded like. Keep blowing all the time, even if your lips get tired. Next, Joshua looked at the soldiers in the group. Grab your weapons and walk in front of the priests. The rest of you walk behind the priests. Everyone needs to walk quietly. Any questions? Okay, let's go. So here's today's picture. Joshua and God's people are going to walk around the city of Jericho. This is the walls of the city of Jericho. And they're going to blow their shofars. There's that special um, kind of trumpet sounding thing I told you about. And do you see the wormy? There's the green wormy, right there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. All right, let's find out what happens. The horns were loud. The people of Jericho could hear them through the thick stone walls of the city. What was happening? The Israelites kept walking, left, right, left, went their marching feet around the city. The Israelites wondered how God's plan was going to work as they looked at the thick city walls. The Israelites did this for six whole days. The people of Jericho watched every day. They had never seen anything like this before. Should they be afraid or should they laugh? On the seventh day, the Israelites got up at sunrise and walked around the city seven times. After the seventh time, Joshua told the people to shout right after the priests blew their horns one last time. God's plan was for the walls to fall flat when the Israelites shouted. The Israelites shouted so loud, the ground began to shake. The thick stone walls began to shake too, and soon they started to crumble. Huge stones crashed to the ground. The wall came tumbling down, and the Israelites got what God promised. So here's the picture. Do you see what happens? They march around seven times. And then at the end, they shout and the ground starts to rumble and the wall comes tumbling down, just as God said. And right here, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. There is the wormy. Well, today, if you want to, you can find a piece of paper and you can take that piece of paper and you can roll it up. Roll it up just like this. And you can make a horn. And you can maybe walk around your living room or your kitchen seven times, and then you can blow your horn. And you can imagine that you are with God's people, just like they were in Jericho when the wall comes tumbling down. What a fun story today about God's unbelievable power. If you're ready, I want you to pray with me, friends. You can do praying hands like this or like this. We're gonna pray, we're gonna talk to God. Even though we can't see God or sometimes hear God talking back to us, we know that God is listening. And so we can pray anything we want to God. So repeat after me, please. Dear God, thank you for the incredible 
amazing things you have done. Help us to know that you are with us. Amen. It was great to be with you for this fun story. Next week, we hear a story about a woman named Deborah. I'm really, she's a judge. I'm really excited to have you join us for that story. So we will see you next time. But before then, we end with our four actions. Are you ready to join me? Here we go. We end in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.